by 8 p.m. Futurecast, any activity well to our north and west, still in the northwestern portion of the state, but it is quick moving and it's not going to be very organized. By midnight, the onset of some of that precipitation begins along that I-25 corridor. Could be a wintry mix by the Pueblo area. Push this ahead though. By 4 a.m., a very unorganized system. Just a few snow showers lingering for the springs down towards Pueblo. Again though, we will keep an eye on some pockets of heavier embedded bands in these snow showers. That's where we're going to expect the possibility of perhaps an inch of snow and those slick AM driving uh, issues if you're headed towards that high country. So do keep that in mind. By 7 a.m., this activity already wrapping up. Few leftover flurries for the I-25 quarter. The plains, they're going to be dealing with a few light snow showers. Even 10 a.m. still could be some festive flakes. Don't think we'll be able to get any accumulations out of this very light batch of snow. All comes to an end, though. And the remainder of that day, Saturday, plenty of sunshine, few clouds, temperatures right near that seasonal mark. So besides the a.m. hours, going to be a very beautiful seasonal end of that weekend. Now, how much snow can we expect? That I-25 quarter looks to stay under an inch. Wouldn't be surprised perhaps somewhere in El Paso County, western El Paso County, that is, pushes that one inch mark. All in all, though, low impact event unless you are headed towards the high country where a general one to three inches is going to be in that forecast. I will say Highway 24, mainly out in Teller County, that's where we're going to keep an eye. Perhaps an inch of snow can't be ruled out of that forecast. I do think two inches might be a bit aggressive here, but there is that upside potential that we do get some of these heavier snow totals where that heavier banding does end up setting up. So for tomorrow, by the time we get to the afternoon, 45 degrees in the springs. Clouds going to be on the decrease throughout the remainder of the day. So these icons actually a bit misleading. They're 51 here in Pueblo, 53 over in Canyon City. So road conditions after we get through about that six, seven, eight o'clock hour, sunshine makes a return to that forecast. I think driving conditions roads going to be just wet if that out towards the plains, upper 40s, low 50s in that forecast. So again, very seasonal fall like day. Clouds going to be on the decrease throughout the remainder of that day. So seven day forecast. The next time we're keeping an eye on early next week, Tuesday, that is where we have our next Arctic front moving through the region with that we're still going to fine tune some of these snow forecasts, but we can guarantee gusty winds in that forecast as well as a taste of these Arctic temperatures. Once again, expected to impact the region. Here we are, Pueblo, 38 degrees for your Tuesday. Behind this Arctic blast, beautiful conditions. We start to warm up again above average temperatures for the start of that weekend.